Well, it's been a while since I've done a video here on the tank. Uh, I did a, a little bit of a, a little total this week, 20 gallon water change on it. And today I did some aggressive cleaning on the acrylic where the uh, where I don't sweep it all the time it was getting a lot of calcification and man it was really tough to get at the uh, NIM fed him earlier today and he gobbled it up and grabbed onto the tongs I was trying to feed him with is kind of difficult to pry apart well, this frog spawn seems to be doing really well and the lights were out on this side of the tank just while ago so the uh, pagoda cups kind of shrunk back and as far as being able to insulate the tank there's uh, just very little equipment to have to work around. Really I've only got two wires here on the back which one here is suction cup for the MP40 lest it were to break free and fall. You know I mean, that could be uh, kind of dangerous but really just the two wires is all the uh, the equipment here on the on the back that I've got. So I think that would work out pretty well. Oh, and the uh, the life reef silencer here in the back is still staying spot on. It's uh, not wavering one bit. And I've got the uh, that airline tube there going down into the emergency overflow. take that out and the, 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 the level changes drastically, but it all works together. Now one thing I have noticed is with the uh, increased testing and working with the Prams trying to get them up to the so-called standards. I'm losing a lot of my coralline. It's just not doing as good as what it should. And I'm really, really satisfied with the way the uh, blasto is coming along. It really likes it where it's at. I know it's under a couple coral here, but anywhere else I've put him in here, it just hasn't done near as good. So that's where he goes. The Zoas, they're doing all right. I'm going to have to do some trimming of the, what was that, Halmeda or whatever. The plant is kind of uh, shadowing a lot of it there, so I got to do some trimming there. Other than that, everything's going a okay. Haven't done much on the stand here lately. Might finish it next year. <laughs> and the candy cane, it's doing great. That bottom head's still kind of, uh, kind of messed up. The eggs hatched from the clowns last night. So they get pretty hungry from all the fanning they do. I fed the uh, bubble so it's not out too big right now. I fed it last night and this morning. So and I also tried to you know, get it to close up so I could work on the glass some. <laughs>